What's happening guys? I'm DJ Avionics and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use two computers to live stream on one computer and Serato DJ Pro and Mix Emergency running on the other computer. Stay tuned. Before we jump into things, let's hear a little brief word from our sponsor DB Line. This video is sponsored by DB Line. DB Line is a clothing and merchandise line for the DJ, for musicians, for music lovers, for photographers, for videographers, for content creators like a lot of you are, and for gamers. Visit DB Line at dbline.equid.com. You can also find DB Line on Instagram at DB Line Merch. Also on Facebook at DB Line Merchandise. So in my other tutorial video showing how to go live on Instagram using OBS Studio, there were some comments asking how to do everything that I was doing but on two computers, particularly another MacBook Pro. Now, my situation, I'm able to do and run everything on my 2018 MacBook Pro being that it's spec'd out with the i9 processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and 4 gigabytes of video. So this video is geared towards um, all Mac users um, using another MacBook computer or iMac. Sorry Windows guys, can't help you much. Even still, being able to do all that on my 2018 machine while plugged into power, the battery percentage still was trickling downwards, which probably means I need to upgrade to the, uh, the next size MacBook charger. Or, being that I have a 2015 27-inch iMac, I can split the duties and just OBS stream from the iMac. So to be able to bring the Mix Emergency main video output to the other computer running in OBS Studio, you'll need to see my other tutorial video on how to set all that up, which will be um, setting up the NDI plugin. So please visit that video in the corner to set that all up and then come on back. Please fully read the video description as it has further instructions to clear up any OBS crashing issues. So after further research and experimentation, if you have another Mac or MacBook, possibly anything newer than a 2011 model, you can just run the streaming duties to the second computer while you operate Serato DJ Pro and Mix Emergency as you normally would on your primary laptop. So first, you will need a long enough Ethernet Cat5 type cable. Now the next item or two depends on what kind both Mac computers are. Being that I have a 2018 MacBook Pro with its Type-C USB ports, you're going to need an Ethernet dongle. I recommend this bad boy. You can pick one of these up by visiting my Amazon affiliate link down in the description. 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pros have Type-C USB ports as well, so you will need this dongle. The other computer I'm using to stream with OBS Studio is my 27-inch 2015 iMac, which has an Ethernet port, so I'm just going to directly plug into that. Apple got rid of the Ethernet ports after the 2012 model, so simply connect using just the Ethernet cable. If you have a 2013, 14, or 15 MacBook Pro, you're going to have to get a Thunderbolt 2 cable, which is this. Amazon affiliate link is down below. You may need to get this dongle as well if you're connecting a 13, 14, or 15 MacBook Pro to a newer 2016 or newer MacBook Pro, which is a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 dongle. Link also down below. Okay, once you've gathered all the items you need, go ahead and connect everything up from one computer to the other. Now go to one computer and go to System Preferences, then go to Network. Now on the left side, you will see all the different network connections. For my setup, I want to verify that the Ethernet bridge is shown, and it will be a self-assigned IP with a yellow dot. Go to your other computer and do the same thing, verifying that it has the Ethernet connection. If you're using a Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt cable connection between the two computers, do the same thing, and if you don't see the Thunderbolt bridge appear within the first minute, you will need to create the bridge by clicking the plus sign and make sure Thunderbolt Bridge is selected in the interface drop-down menu in the ad window. This connection will also be a self-assigned IP with a yellow dot. Now once you have all the network settings good to go, go ahead and open up Serato DJ Pro and Mix Emergency as you normally would. Go to the Mix Emergency Preferences and go to the Sharing tab. Now go ahead and check the Output checkbox under NDI Output. Current default settings should already have siphon output, checkbox, and grayed out. Now go to your other computer and open OBS Studio. 
click the create a source plus button and select NDI source. Now in the drop down menu, you will now see the mixed emergency output. Go ahead and click OK. And now you have the main output displayed and have a seamless video connection between the two computers. Now your primary DJing laptop can breathe a lot better now that the streaming duties have been split. Now it's time to route the audio from the mixer to the computer running OBS Studio. You'll need the help of a USB audio interface connected from your mixer out into an empty USB port in OBS Studio. Create an audio input capture. Select the audio interface in the device drop down menu and you're good to go. Just be sure to do a sound check and get visible LEDs lighting up. And that pretty much wraps up this tutorial video. Any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave them down below and I will get to them ASAP. And please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notifications bell so you can be notified of future videos that may be of interest to you. Alright guys, I'm DJ Avionics. See you next time.